Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SDL0320, representing JDS. So this is my review for episode 9 of the 8th season of The Vampire Diaries. So this episode is actually pretty interesting because up until this point, like, I was kind of, like, conflicted as to, you know, is Damon just so engulfed in, you know, Sybil that he can't think for himself. Like, he's just going down this narrow road and he's just you know, complete with just having his humanity turned off. But it was like the symbolicism behind Elena's necklace is what's been allowing his subconscious to go back and forth with his conscious mind. And it's literally going back and forth. And I think that the funny thing about this episode is that Sybil and um, Stefan work together um, in this one. Well, Ripper Stefan, because Stefan in this, man, this dude is downright just evil. Um, and it's funny because Kate has said what Stefan, the inner darker part of himself, what it would want. And he actually clarified that to, Clara, to Caroline. Um, the other thing is, I don't know what Caroline is going to do about Stefan and his situation because what Stefan did at the end, I was just like, dang. Um, the other part of this story, you got Matt Donovan, he's trying to find the bell, having a guy that work with the Lark to help him out. And then Salim actually is trying to help them out, but she's got her own ulterior motives that are not apparent just yet. Um, but as I said, the biggest part of this episode for me was definitely Damon breaking through and doing what he needs to do to survive. And it's very inspiring to see, you know, Caroline of all people try to encourage Damon to rise above this situation, considering everything that Damon has done against all of them. Um, and he's going to have to deal with the fruit of that wrath uh, on his own uh, in this upcoming episode. That's why I think this next episode is going to be actually really interesting. I think the next episode's name is, um, what is it called? Nostalgia is a Beach. That's not exactly what it says, but that's, <laughs> this episode is a simple intimacy of a near touch. But I thought this was a really good episode. The thing that I just is annoying to me is Bonnie and Enzo. I love, I love, you know what I'm saying, their, their love story. I understand it. I, I really can't be mad at it just because Bonnie has always just taken the hit for Elena and everybody else every single time. It's never been like Bonnie taking the rams of love for herself. I mean, Jeremy is one thing, you know, but it was like it was always connected to Elena in some capacity. This is one constant thing that she's been trying to strive for herself. But the depths of what they're talking about, just I was just like, okay. Either way, you know, her life is still tied to Elena. So if she's purposely talking about taking cure out of Elena's body, we already know that if that happens, that Elena will have the same fate that Catherine had. So what are they talking about? Not just that, Damon and Elena were talking about, you know, doing that together. Um, so I don't really know what's going to come of this, uh, but I'm upset about the fact of what's going on with... Bonnie and Enzo, because it's like, I'm a Bayman shipper, I really am. I was like, why is, you know, um, why is she not helping Damon? Like, this could really help him, and she just wasn't. And I, I understand it, and I get it, but it's just like, dang. So, either way, this is a solid episode. I give it a 9 out of 10, but I have a feeling this next episode, considering how this one ended off, it's gonna be it's gonna be some fire. So, either way, hope you all enjoyed that review. I got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of people calling me. I'm trying to be stressed out. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.